Hello, welcome back to another tech related video. Ask this word. Today, what are we going to discuss about test understanding the internet circumvention? So, without wasting time, let's discuss it. Like the government's company, school, and internet providers sometimes use software to prevent their users from accessing certain websites and services that are otherwise available on the the open web. This is called internet filtering or blocking and it is a form of censorship filtering come in different filtering comes in different forms even with the encryption sensor can block entire website hosting provider or internet technologies there are different way of beating internet censorship some protect you from surveillance but may don't and someone who control your net connection filter or block sites you can almost always use a Circumvention tool to get. Okay, there are different ways of beating internet censorship. Some protect you from surveillance, but may now may don't don't do that. When someone who controls your net connection filter or block a site, you can almost always use a circumvention tool to get to the information you need. The circumvention tool that is best for you depend on your security plan. Understanding Internet Censorship and Surveillance The internet has a lot of process that always have to work together properly in order to get your communication from one place to another. If someone is trying to block part of the internet or particular activities, they may get target many different parts of the system. The method they use may depend on what technology and device they have control over, their knowledge, their resources and whether they are in a position of power to tell others what to do. Surveillance and censorship like two sides of the same coin. Internet surveillance and censorship go hand in hand. Internet censorship is a two step process. Step one, spot unacceptable activity step 2 block unacceptable activity spotting unacceptable activity is the same as the internet surveillance if network administrative can see where you are going on the internet they can decide whether to block it by advocating for internet and data privacy tools and technologies we can also make internet filtering and blocking more difficult the cost of surveillance blocking internet traffic come at a cost and overblocking can come at an even greater cost. Popular example is that the Chinese government does not censor GitHub website, even though many anti-government news newsletters are hosted on the website. Software developer need access to GitHub to perform work that is beneficial to the Chinese economy. Right now, these censors have decided that it will cost them more to block GitHub that they would gain by blocking it. Not all sensors would make the same decision. For example, temporary internet blackouts are becoming increasingly common, even though these measures can seriously harm local economies. Your blocking or filtering on your devices. Let's discuss where it happened. This is especially common in schools, workplaces, someone who set up or manages the computer and phones can put software on them that limits how they can be used. The software changes how the device works and can make it unable to access certain sites or to communicate online in certain ways. Spywares can work in a very similar way. Local network filtering. This is especially common in schools and workplaces. Someone who manages your local network like Wi-Fi network enforces someone some limits on your internet activity like monitoring or controlling where you go online or when searching for certain keywords. The next is blocking or filtering by internet service provider ISP. Your ISP can generally perform the same type of filtering, same type of filtering as the administrative of your local network. ISPs in many countries are compelled by their government to perform regular internet filtering and censorship. Commercial ISP can perform filtering as a service of the household or employers. Particular presidential, residential internet service providers may market filtered connection directly to customer as an option 
and automatically apply specific censorship method like those described below to all connection on their ISPs. Who is the blocking happening? IP address blocking. IP addresses are the location of computer on the internet. Every piece of information that is sent over the internet has a to address and a from address. Internet service provider or network administrators can create list of locations that correspond with service they want to block. They can then block any piece of information on the network that are being delivered to or from those locations. This can lead to over blocking since many services can be hosted at the same location or IP address. Similarly, many people wind up sharing any given IP address for the internet access. That's what we have for the today videos. In the next video, we will come with another topic. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.